is the horsepower number on the car. It's about 3,000. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Good morning, good morning. It's actually like 5.30 in the morning. Just made my little protein shake. And I'm headed on the road, getting on the road, headed to Beeville, Texas to go to the Texas Mile. I don't feel like talking because I'm tired. I'm still asleep. So, um, give me a couple hours to get myself together and I'll give it a shot in a minute. Oh, by the way, still attached. Yes, sir. Still attached clothing line, clothing brand. Started by Jarvis, four underscore Jew underscore customs on Instagram and still attached on Instagram as well. One word. Um, make sure you give them a, um, a follow on Instagram and go ahead and buy some of the uh, clothing as well because this actually feels really good. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's 100% cotton. The fitting is good. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It's not hanging off my body. It's not doing all that kind of weird stuff. So there you go. Uh, anyway, my bad. The camera angles all crazy, but still attached clothing. I'm gonna wear this shirt to the go dingy, I promise. But hey, one more time, I appreciate you, bro. Continue to do your thing, continue to grind, and stay motivated. But on the next note, I give that child a couple hours. Yo, so we are 10 minutes away from this um, landing strip. Let me tell you, I may have been a tough drive. I've been dozing. I ain't been swerving. I ain't hitting nothing. New. I ain't even had nobody else hitting nothing. But it's been a long drive. I'm sleepy. I told you I didn't go to bed last night. If y'all watched the last video before this one, you'll know I didn't go to bed until after I posted the video. Well, I, I posted it, but it's not for me. I didn't make it public right then. I made it public today. But I didn't go to bed till like 1.30. I had to wake up at 5. And I had to spend. I had to wake up at 5. So that's going to give y'all an idea of how much sleep I didn't get. And then the night before that, I didn't sleep at all. I actually was up at 3 in the morning, kind of just driving around, clearing my head. And then from like four to six, I was working on the course. And then I went to bed for like an hour and went right back up. So I'm running on fumes right now. Sometime today, probably at the event, I might get in the car and take me a little nap. I'm be honest with y'all, but look at where I'm at, right? I'm in the real deal, like country. This is the country for real. Look at this. I'm talking about not a not a building, not a McDonald's in sight. So if I ain't if, if you ride a gas, or if you get hungry out here. It's a wrap. It's over. You screwed. You know what I mean? But thankfully, we got enough gas to where I I, I think I remember where the closest gas station is. Uh, so we got enough gas to where we need gas. I'm almost definitely be able to get some food. I'm just screwed on that hill. I have to buy food up here, I guess. Hopefully, it ain't too, too expensive. I hope I don't need cash because, damn, I ain't even think about that. I hope I don't need cash because if I do, I'm screwed. I ain't got no cash for me at all. But like I said, without further ado, man. I'm very excited to be here. I'm ready to see what kind of cars are gonna be here. Cause I know that this event was canceled and moved to this date. So hopefully it's a lot of people here. I wanna see a lot of fast cars. So it's most definitely worth my drive. Cause for those of y'all don't know, this is a three hour drive for me. So I got three hours going back today. Back to Houston. I tried to get some B-roll footage, but the camera was shaking cause the roads are vibrating and I'm still like a noob YouTuber. I still got one battery for my camera. Idiot. So if my battery ever dies sometime today, I'm either one, gonna get on the cell phone, or two, that's just a wrap. You know what I'm saying? But without well, further ado, man, I give it a chance when I get to the uh, landing strip. All right, y'all, so we've officially made it to the Texas Mile. We got this clean C7 come out of this trailer right here, and we have a C8 right up here in front of us. Right now, I'm waiting on, I'm going to 60 to go ahead and pull up on the golf cart, because if y'all can see, right? track out right there this thing is nice if y'all can see so i think that over there is the strip that's a c8 right there we're gonna walk up on that in just a second but if you can see it you can't even see it the, the actual parking goes way down there way back in there so hopefully we should have got some little golf cart too but he already had one so i ain't gonna spend no money on that but hopefully what we can do, I don't know if he's on the side to where the, the cars are finishing or if he's on the car, the side where the cars are starting. So I guess we'll figure it out in a minute. We gotta check the C8 out real quick. Yeah, damn, that's clean. Y'all drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about the new, the new C8. This is, I'm not sure what kind of blue it is. He was actually just explaining it, but the wheels, the interior, the exterior of the car, all of it matches that, so damn nice. I think it's stopped though. I don't think there's nothing going on with it, so he's not running a car on thing. I don't think so. But y'all drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about it, because that shit is tough. 
Peace. All right, y'all. So we are here with I'm going in 60. Let's see what's going on, man. Hey, there you go. There you go. So if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to I'm going in 60 on you. On YouTube. Um, this is actually something we've been playing for about a year now. At least a year, yeah. Yeah, we're back and forth conversations. Supposed to have come out here. The first time we talked about this, I had the ZL1. That's right. And I was planning right. on running the car, but uh, the car was expensive and life happened. So there you go. But maybe, oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, that's man. true. That's yeah. true. They got re they rescheduled it. So maybe next year, once the Mustang is done, I might bring the Mustang out here because I plan on being around, I'm not going to say the number, but I plan on being around some really high numbers when that car is done. Uh, so we're going to go see your friend with the Supra, right? And Trail. So and Trail Pride. 1,000 horsepower Supra. Old school Supra, people. What is he shooting for today? Uh, I think he's going to try to do 180 in the half mile and whatever comes up in the in the mile. So um, a year ago, he did he did 200 miles an hour okay. uh, in his Supra. Yeah. And uh, so right now he's, he's just doing testing. They're getting used to this new track because this is a different uh, this is a different run runway than it used to be when it was over here the first time. Okay. So uh, Texas Mile, guys, uh, every March, every October, this is where the big boys run. Oh, Quarter mile times are cute. <laughs> twice a year? I didn't know that. Twice a year, bro. Okay. So October by October by March, right? Texas 2K, then March. When is it in March? I don't remember if it's the first the first week or the last week. I know Texas 2K is the second, third, third week. Okay. Texas okay. 2K is the third week. So if the car is done, the car will be done for the one in April for sure. Um, is that the damn beat right here? Yep. All wheel drive. Check that out. Jeez. So do not race that bug. Whatever it is. Show, show him. Show him, Joe. That's ridiculous. I wonder what he got done to it. I was going to. I was. We're gonna talk to him later. <laughs> All wheel drive, and that was it. I was like, yeah, and he's this, got something in it. Yeah. And this one right here, this guy ran a. Uh, I believe he ran one one eighty something. In here? In yeah, we we gonna talk to him later on. Too. Hell, kitty. There you go. <laughs> Hell, kitty. There you go. And there's Antrail. Mark Four Super, right? Is it I Mark so. Four? I believe so. I'm not really too. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I think it's, I think I, you call it Mark Four. I call them all old school supers, but that's that's a thousand, that is a true one thousand horsepower super. And then we have, like I said, the GT five hundred over there. I don't think there's anything done to that car. It, it doesn't look like it. It's not lowered. Uh, it looks like a stock car. A lot of these cars I've noticed are stock cars, yeah. but they're fast, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, they, they usually bring them out just yeah. to see what they're gonna do. Yeah. And they get addicted. They get bit by the bug. Like I said, this is this is twice every year they have it. Right. Okay. So they come out, they get some mods, and that that's that's it right there. That's what catches you. This mod, how much, how fast am I gonna go? Right. And that's it, man. Right. So like I said, you see all kind of cars out here. Not plowed out to the wind noise because the wind's starting to blow now. But he's gonna have the draggy app. On in this car, and you're gonna put it on your channel, right? So you guys channel. most definitely go check out his channel and see what this car did from camera's eye view. Oh, somebody's moving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was. All right. Is that the police car? Not the bit. That's the bit. So, so we're gonna catch the police car on camera for sure. Uh, the GT500. Tennessee has a GT350 out here that was actually. It sounded like it was moving. I don't know if it was like. A, go ahead. I don't know if it was like a slipping clutch. Or if he was having traction issues, I don't know what the problem is, but they have a Hennessy GT350 out here. Um, track hog, they got a couple track hogs. They got a few CAs out here as well. I have not seen the CAs run on the track though. One CA was the one I showed you guys earlier in the video with the black and the blue. They have another blue one that's a performance package CA. He has a carbon fiber roof. Uh, and then they got a white CA that had the carbon fiber, not carbon fiber, the performance wheels in there. But you probably got like at least, at least 100 cars out here. Um, this is the only guy that we know. We got a bunch of bikes. They had one high boost already go, I think 200 miles per hour. So I'm curious to see how he does. What? Set up? Okay, probably gonna, probably gonna break for lunch before he runs. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So, oh, we got the AMG over here too. AMG, C606. All kind of cars. I, I, told, I told him earlier, I wasn't expecting as many American cars to be out here. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a lot more exotic. Um, and it is a good big exotic. I thought the underground Lambo was coming. That's what I was excited for. Yeah. Uh, the yellow one? Yeah, yeah. I was excited for that one. But either way, like I said, oh, we got an H2R right here. That's dope. Yeah, it was an H, no, yeah, it's H2R. That's, Ooh. I've never seen the bike in person. I have not. Any mods on it? What's that, any mods on it? The second one, yeah, it's fully built. It has a uh, center cooler and the uh, fill of fuel rails, upgraded injectors. 
head work, cams, pistons, connecting rods. It's got the uh, intercooler and the uh, aftermarket fuel pump. I've got the smaller sprocket in the back and the larger in the front. Okay. And these, what are they, 300 from the factory? 300 horsepower? Like stock? So these are both the street model. The R is the 300 horsepower model. Okay. okay. And these are the H2 street version. So All right. This one is a 2020 model, and it is, uh, I believe, 220 horsepower from the factory. Wow. It's still that horsepower. Was a 200, uh, 2015 model. Yeah. It was 200 rated at the factory. Mm -hmm. uh, mine right now it's geared for a top speed of 250. Oh shit. So it hits 300 <laughs> horsepower on the dyno, but then the dynos only go up to 200. Right. So the speculated is 230. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, 330 rear wheel horsepower. Okay. So that's, that's what are right. what are you what do you, uh, speeds are you trying guys trying to get? So I had that motor built, put all together, ready for the mile in Victoria last yeah. year. So I went to October of last year and went 220. Okay. Uh, on a, What's I, your name? I'm Brian Rivers. Okay. I think we met I, th at the I, mile think, last I think year. I interviewed you. Yeah. yeah. That was That's, exactly so, a year ago, right? Yes. Round two. Uh, yes. Yeah, round, round two. two. <laughs> so I was hoping to come down here at 220. I had a, a, log, a data logger on it, and I was only at 80% throttle. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we figured it has 230 in it. Uh, it's stock, because I'm running stock height, stock length. Right. So most of these guys that are doing that speed, they have it lowered and stretched. Stretched out. Right. So I'm trying to keep it stock suspension and see how fast I can go. Right. And so I was hoping to come down here and do uh, 230, but the track conditions down here are not nearly as good as Victoria. So really? So far, all I've gotten is one night. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get a day and see if I can find a better line. Okay. All right, man. Be safe out there, man. Thank we'll you. be praying for you. 220 right, is fast. That is fast. On two wheels, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that is fast. Fast. The fastest I've ever, I had an R6 um, a couple years ago. There's nothing like that. I think the fastest I went was like 160. So, two, 220, that's a whole different world. That's, that's a warp speed, yeah. That's clean. That is extremely clean. Would you, would you buy it? That's my dream car, bro. That's my dream car. I'm gonna have one one day. Have that's right. Give me a couple years. Give me that's a couple right. Years, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have it. When the used market opens up, these could, they're gonna buy the Hellcat. Cause they're making what three years now? They're gonna make them three years, uh, from now to 2023. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to do, until the next platform comes out. So I'm curious uh, what they're gonna do with it. Are they going electric next? I know Hellcat, uh, the Char Challenger and Charger, are about to go electric. There's, there's, uh, it's not gonna replace the V8. It's not gonna replace gas, but they're, they're gonna have some kind of hybrid, something like that. I got my fingers crossed for an all electric Mustang coming. Got my fingers crossed. Oh, you do want to replace? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I want an all electric. Really? Give me about 700 horsepower, all electric, all wheel drive. Mm, no parasitic loss. Uh, hey, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll go from there, bro. We'll go from there. No drivetrain right, loss. You know, don't freak out. Electricity yeah. is not going to replace a gasoline engine, people. Yeah. It is not. But not, hey, it's I don't good think it will. I don't think it will in our lifetime. It's good competition. I don't know, man. Electric. I don't think. I don't think gas is even competition for electric. What I'm at that point. Is price wise. Oh, Technology yeah. wise, oh yeah. You know the gasoline is gonna have to come up. Yeah. They're gonna have to, cause, cause they're coming with these electric vehicles.
that's moving. He moving pretty good. 156 and a half. I just made it back home. I'm this is not gonna be enthusiastic. I'm 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 through. I'm I'm slumped. I'm tired. <laughs> that sun drained me and I'm already asleep. I ain't had no sleep. I still supposed to, I'm still supposed to be going to the gym, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I think I have to go ahead and skip the gym right now. I had to catch that gym in the morning. You can see that on my face. I can't even hide it. I'm so tired. But that's crazy as heck. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I most de my bad. I'm shaking the camera. I most definitely enjoy spending time with man. I'm going in 60. Um, I this has been something I told y'all earlier. We've been trying to set this up for a year now. You know what I'm saying? Get together for the past year, and we were finally able to do so. And this will not be the last time ah, that we get together. Let me get out here in the light real quick. Hold on. Ah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this won't be the last time that we get together. So make sure y'all stay tuned for all the content to come between me. I'm going to 60 and everybody else that's on the channel or that pops up on the channel as well. 
Um, I have a lot of big things coming in the future. I told y'all when I moved back to Houston that I was gonna be on the grind 24 seven and I've been doing so, but right now, I'm tired. I'm not editing this video right now. I'm not doing nothing. I'm gonna go in here, take a shower, wind down, look over my course a little bit more. I told y'all that's finished, so make sure y'all stay tuned and prepare for that when I drop it. And just look over a few little things, but as far as like the, the hard things that we I normally do through YouTube, not tonight. You know what I'm saying? So like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the notification bell, and I'll get back with y'all in the next video. Peace.